Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oyinko and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Ibadan, Nigeria. If it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my results from doing the egg diet. Yes, baby, my results from doing the egg diet. Now, I did this diet for five days. It was It's a diet that has been made popular by Versatile Vicky here on YouTube. I was just minding my business one day on YouTube and I came across this diet and being a curious cat that I am plus the fact that I gain weight pretty quickly like once I just inhale food I already have two kgs so I just decided to like give this diet a try because the diet claims to help you lose 10 kilos in 10 days if you follow it strictly now I'm going to say that I did have a cheat day twice not a cheap day, but I, I, I fell off the wagon. I ate chicken in I ate chicken alongside my dinner on two days, but I still lost weight. I still lost significant weight. And my hair was all over the place, so I needed to add some moisture to it, and I'm loving it. Okay, let's go back to the video. Now, the diet is insane in that it claims to help you lose up to 10 kilos in 10 days if you follow it strictly. I wasn't actually aiming to lose that much weight, so I decided to do the diet for five days and see if it would help me lose five kilos because she actually claims that you can lose a kilo every single day. Isn't that insane? I know, right? Anyways, I did it for five days. And if you guys want to see how much I ended up losing, then you should definitely keep on watching. Now, I'm going to say this diet consists of um, basically eggs, oats, and apples. That is it. And the only drink that you're allowed to have aside water is green tea. So for breakfast, I had three boiled eggs. Your eggs are only supposed to be boiled. That's another mistake that people make because I watched a couple of videos that other people did on how they did their egg diets and they were, you know, not eating the egg as boiled but she clearly stated that you are only supposed to boil the eggs. So you're supposed to have three boiled eggs for breakfast and a cup of green tea. Then for lunch, you go ahead to have three boiled eggs, an apple and a cup of green tea. And then for dinner, you have a cup of oats and a cup of green tea now i know that that seems pretty restrictive but i was coming from a place of not eating anything i had just completed a three-day water fast and although i gave myself a break for about three to five days it was still something it was still not that difficult for me because again i had just finished a three-day water fast where i was only consuming water so if you guys would like to see that video on my water fast then you should definitely check the cards up here it's going to be up in the cards so that you can watch it now i'm going to say that once i started the egg diet i also combined it with my chloe Ting app challenge and Fam, it helped me to get abs. Well, not abs, but I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. I was substantially shredded <laughs> compared, significantly shredded compared to my beginning point. And if you guys want to see that video on my Chloe Ting app challenge, then again, it's going to be up in the cards. So yeah, that is it. And um, I'm going to say that this diet wasn't that difficult for me. But again, it just depends on you and what you are used to eating as of now now a few people had complained that this diet doesn't have enough fiber so it made them constipated and they didn't go to the toilet throughout the period of the diet but i'm going to say that i did not experience that maybe because of the type of green tea that i was drinking now in the beginning i was drinking a tea called quality and the picture of that tea is going to be up on the screen right now so that you guys can see that tea that tea um it didn't really help with my bowel movement it was okay it was just green tea no big deal but then i a friend of mine told me about three ballerina tea and so i decided to switch that tea from quality to three ballerina tea and i tell you that once i started taking three ballerina tea i was going to the toilet every day because apparently it has some kind of laxative effect so um it helped me with my bowel movements and it just made things a bit easier for me please i'm not telling you that you guys should try this diet i'm not a dietitian if you guys want to do this diet i'm just taking you through my weight loss journey so if you guys want to do the diet 
please do your own research and be sure that you can do it um like she said there are no substitutes for eggs because the diet is an egg based diet eggs are the main meal so there's no substitute for it and there is no substitute for apples as well which is also a huge part of the diet so if you're allergic to eggs you can't eat eggs or you can't eat apples then i'm sorry that this diet is not for you so please don't ask me any questions about that because i'm afraid i do not have your answers okay now you might be wondering and saying oh three eggs is so little i'm going to get hungry if three eggs is the only thing i'm eating but i kid you not you are actually not going to get hungry the best you're going to be is bored of three eggs but you're actually not going to get hungry eggs are surprisingly very filling i didn't know that until i started this egg diet so um having three eggs alone is very very sufficient for you um it wasn't that difficult for me i did not experience any hunger pangs unlike my water diet my water fast i was not having headaches i was not having cravings i was not having any of that i was just getting a bit bored of the eggs because it's a bit repetitive it's an eggs green tea eggs green tea apple oats eggs green tea apple oats it's a bit repetitive and boring so yeah i should also mention that you're not allowed to use sugar sweeteners or any of that in your oats and if you feel like you want to spice up the taste of your oats then what you can do is you can use some fruits like apples to spice up the oats so that it's not bland i personally didn't eat my oats with anything i just ate them bland like that and i did not eat my i didn't put anything in my green tea i just drank it bland like that and it wasn't that bad to be honest it's all a thing of the mind once you can convince your mind that it's not that bad you are good to go i promise you so again if you get hungry although you're not likely to but if you get hungry there are some snacks that are allowed according to her you can have cucumbers yummy carrots and sprouts i think although we don't have sprouts in nigeria so i just had cucumbers and carrots on days that i was mm, feeling a bit snacky although that wasn't very often so yeah that is basically it i think i've mentioned everything about diet so let's jump right into my before videos and my after pictures okay so this is day one of my egg fast this is what i'm currently looking like i gained a little more weight after the water fast so yeah i'm a little around the abdominal region but let's see how it goes at the end of the five days Okay, so I'm currently at 80 kilos pre-egg diet. So let's see what the egg diet does for me at the end of the five days. So this is a before and after video just to show my side-by-side -side comparison. And I actually ended up losing almost three whole kilos. Amazing. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let me know if you would be trying the egg diet. And if you have, what were your results? It is something that I think I would be doing again if I feel like I need to jumpstart my weight loss at any point. Because I'm pleased with the results. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!